stuff like this, uh, you know, after you get to digest this and um, you know, shoot me emails of suggestions and feedback. You know, we're open. We want to hear from you. We just I can't have all of you as advisors committee, unfortunately. I would love to, but probably won't go through much if we do that. So uh, we try to be selective and, and, and get some real representation. But feel free to send your feedback to Rose and you know, or to me, and she'll bring them to the to the meeting. Um, this is a summary of fiscal year ADM. That's the stuff we just went through. Again, the, the changes are we have four point of times, their census data, its enrollment is not attendance, it's not absences, and that's what's going to drive the funding. That's the new ADM. Uh, absences still be required to re be reported at least once every 60 days. Um, and the FTE has been clarified and you no longer have the 20 days, it's, it's, it's two conditions that drive the FTE definition specifically for 9 through 12 uh, students. Um, excused absences, again, will be defined by the governing board of the school districts or the charter holder or the AOI or JTED, etc. They will not be defined by ADE. Um, <laughs> That's probably how you feel now. Um, a lot of these fiscal year 11 changes, I think Mark discussed some of them, and you know, like aggregation, it will, the system will be up all the time. That's not gonna go down. Uh, 76 report will be modified to include all students. This way you have more reconcilable data between the 75 and 76. So all the kids that you upload, you're actually gonna see them. These are some of the changes. Um, for AOI, this is related to the FTF field and the FTE will be determined by the AOI schools. We will not calculate it in, the, in ADE as we did in the past year. Um, again, one important thing I want to point out, our business rules, all our business rules are on our website. If you go to school finance in the bottom right corner, there is a, a box, a hit boxes, it says business rules and presentations. If you click on that there, it will take you to all our presentations and our business rules. So all the business rules, uh, they are published there and as soon as we have them, we are publishing them um, immediately. So. If you want to review any of our business rules, if you, especially if you're a vendor or even as a school administrator, feel free to go and look at them. And there are a lot of valuable presentations there that will probably help you and answer some of your questions. Um, we are working on something called call center or, or FAQs for our website, like Teddy mentioned earlier, if you can go search. We're gonna try to make it as, as simple as possible where you search for stuff uh, in a much easier way. Uh, the other thing, we are going to, soon we'll be sending a survey about our website as we are redesigning it and trying to make it friendlier and uh, easier to use. So please respond to our survey, give us your feedback, we want to hear from you because we want to make it you know, easy for you to use and hopefully we'll get you a lot of the questions answered th that way, especially now we have really short-handed. So. Anyway, but that's uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you have any questions, or if you're hungry, go ahead. <laughs> right. Can we expect the ADM reports to be posted then after March 28th? For our if, if aggregation is done on March 28th, we will be publishing them as well, yes. The question was for the 40th day, Correct. the 100th day report be posted out there. And the answer? Yes. 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 As soon as we have aggregation done, we will publish the ADM. And that typically takes a day or two, so we should have that. Yeah. Rose, the 50th date was March 21st. Yeah. yeah. So Mark, Mark, we March 21st. Uh, That's when aggregation is going to be done. So what's March 28th? That's probably when the reports are going to be posted out there. There might be some miscommunication there. I, uh, the bulletin board, I saw March 28th. Um, that's the, 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 the date I heard from Terry, the operations manager. If that changed to the 21st, that'd be even better. He said the 21st, but he also said that it'd be tested for a week. 
Correct. So it'll be March 28th. Yeah, he said March 21st, but it'll be tested for a week, so it's probably the 28th. Yeah. Don't put your hopes up for the 21st. Yeah, I, w I would go with the March 28th just to be safe. Any other questions for you, sir? Was the presentation to be available online? This is a preliminary one. We will finalize it as we go with the advisory committee. I don't want to give you data now, then you go and use it, because that might change. Because we're going with the advisory committee and we're getting their input. So. Well, it, it depends on the progress of, of, the, uh, of the committee. We have a meeting next week. We're hoping to wrap it up within two to three weeks, if possible. Um, but if they bring more issues to discuss, obviously it might take a little longer. Any other questions? Okay. All Thank right. You, sir. Thank you.